Good evening to you. It's another Tuesday evening and we are live on Joy 99.7 FM. This is Geek Squad with your girl Adubia Brichu. Geek Squad is brought to you by MTN. MTN everywhere you go. We are in the month of April and last week we had a conversation about a group of people using AI to translate Ghanaian languages. Today we are having another conversation on the use of AI. I think last week you said a lot of AIs. AI is artificial intelligence. I'm sure some people already know it, but that is what it is. And today we are going to look at how you can use AI tools to enhance your office work. If you are doing any work at all, I think just before we came onto the show, Evans was just talking about how he uses AI so much, especially chat GPT. And we would like to get into that conversation today, share with you some tools that you can use for different aspects of your office work. When you have to do presentations, when you have to create content, if you have to edit, if you have to summarize, whatever it is that you want to do and you don't really want to stress about it, you would have a tool today to learn about and start using. I have my guest ready and we'll be getting into the conversation pretty shortly. But before we do that, we want you to know that Geek Squad is live on YouTube and on Facebook at Joy 99.7 FM. You can just hop on if you can and watch what is happening in the studio. Before we get into our conversation for today, we would like to share with you what is happening in the tech space. So why not take a listen to the emerging tech trends? There and welcome to Emerging Tech Trends on Joy Geek Squad. In today's trends, Google's Pixel 8 and 8 Pro can now be located even with a dead battery. Meta will require labels on more AI generated content. Microsoft Edge will let you control how much RAM it uses soon. And finally, X is giving some users, and finally, X is giving some users complimentary premium blue ticks. Let's get into the details. As part of Google's latest upgrades, Google has announced that its Pixel 8 series of phones with specialized hardware can now be tracked even when powered off or with a dead battery using the Find My Device feature. Meta has announced that it will update its policy on AI-generated content and introduce a new Made with AI label starting in May. This labeling will be applicable to content on Instagram, Facebook and Threads and will include more video, audio and image content that has been created using Using AI. Microsoft Edge browser will soon have a new feature that allows users to limit the amount of RAM it uses. Leopeva64, a well-known browser feature expert, has discovered a new certain section in test builds of Edge. Users will be able to use a slider to restrict Edge's access to RAM. And finally, X is offering free premium and premium plus memberships to users with a high number of verified followers. Accounts with over 2,500 verified subscriber followers will receive a free premium membership, while accounts with over 5,000 will receive a free premium plus membership. That's it for today's episode of Imagine Tech Trends on Joy Geek Squad. Catch you next time. Imagine strutting into the most anticipated wedding of the year ah, only to see seven other girls wearing your exact same outfit ah! you are special and one of a kind and that's why whether it's voice data or sms you get to enjoy personalized offers tailored to your specific needs with mtn just for you Dial star 141 hash or select your options on the My MTN app to redeem your unique just for you package on Ghana's best mobile network. MTN. This Wednesday on the Joy Business Van, stepping into excellence. The story behind Gold Coast to Kota, the startup promoting Ghana's Ahinima, slippers made for royals. This is the old Ahinima that we have. And I was just like, why don't we actually modernize it? In the broader sense, Ahinema Wakwa Avad. 
So instead of this hardened parts or the nails and other things, we've, we've used as in modern designs and also modern materials. So we have the velvet, we have the suede, we have the ordinary leather as compared to the, the wooden ones that we have. More from the CEO of Gold Coast Okuta, Samuel Kumijo, who plans to take his business global. We want to spread our tentacles to different parts of West Africa. And in the next uh, two years, will actually be different, different parts of Africa. The Joy Business Van, this Wednesday, on TV, radio, online, and on ground, is powered by Joy Business and supported by Ecobank, A Better Way, A Better Africa, and MTN. What are we doing today? Like a small boat on the ocean, sending big waves into motion, like how a single word can make a heart. Back. This is Geek Squad with your girl Adobia Bridgum. If you are just joining us tonight, we are having a conversation on how we can use AI tools to supercharge our office work or to enhance our office work. And I have with me a gentleman who will be taking us through some of the tools that you can use. And I am ready to just get right into it. His name is Samuel Boatin, and I'm going to ask him to introduce himself. Samuel, you're welcome. Thank you very much. So just give us a quick introduction. Who is Samuel before we get into our conversation? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to interview with a, a job listing right now. <laughs> 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 so who is Samuel? <laughs> well, <laughs> Samuel is a, a creative uh, interested in whatever is tech, uh, I usually double with multimedia and all that kind of stuff. Um, so right now I'm working with um, how do you telling the story of what uh, could be uh, the uses of technology in our lives. You know, for anyone at all who's interested in tech, yeah, making it simple for people to get access to such information. Got you, got you. Last week we spoke about the use of artificial intelligence for some apps that have been created and one of them was what we spoke about last week how you can use it to learn the local languages and even to translate english into the local languages and tonight we want to just look at those who are already working you could even probably be a student but the artificial intelligence tools that are available ai tools that are available that people can use so even as a professional why is there even a need for us to start looking at this area the use of ai tools for some of the things that we do before we get into the areas and the different tools that are available okay ai it's it's an amazing technology i don't know where to start it's <laughs> it's, it's crazy it, what it does is that it makes your work so easy so it's you feel like you shouldn't have been employed. Mm. Yeah. So anyone who's able to pick up this tool becomes two times who he is. So uh -huh. it makes you work smarter. Faster. Faster. Better. If you're an A student, you become an A plus student. Wow. Yeah. So if you're just joining us and listening to us, tonight we're having a conversation on how you can supercharge your office work using AI tools. So we've spoken about the fact that as a professional, this is something that you don't have to shy away from. You have to embrace it. Mm -hmm. The use of artificial intelligence tools because it makes you work faster mm -hmm. and then you end up using less time, makes you smarter too. Like you said, it's, it's as if <laughs> you're not really doing a lot of work no. when you're using some of these tools. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the thing is how to use the tools and what tool to even use. Mm -hmm. So we want to get into that conversation. So there are different areas that people would have to do their office work, right? So I'm just going to touch on the different areas and then we can look at the different tools that are available for the different areas of work that we can do. So for example, if someone is to send an email, they may need to be able to generate content. I think just before we came and started the show, Evan spoke about how he just uses chat GPT a lot and not even just that, but the different AI tools that are available, which means that a lot of people are using these tools. Yeah. So if I want to generate content, there are kinds of tools that I can use. If for instance, I'll have to do any kind of presentation, PowerPoint presentations. Mm -hmm. There are types of AI tools that I can look at. So we want to touch on 
the different areas and then share some examples of the tools that are available not just sharing the tools we'll get into some more details talk about some advantages disadvantages mm -hmm. if there are free versions mm -hmm. if you have to pay for some and then we can go on so let's let's just i think that's just the whole conversation for tonight so yeah. that listeners can just benefit from the different tools that are available and what we can use them for sure. yeah sure so can we just start anyone that comes to mind maybe when you just touch on it then we talk about which area can benefit you okay and then okay what we let's can start with the, the most known ai tool yeah which is chat gpt, chat GPT. Yes. Mm. Uh, it became the face of ai for it it is the face of ai it has been that for a couple of years now it's because of how deep it is running with a lot of data i mean in terms of what the ais are coming up people claim some software are ais but they are not actually AIs. <laughs> <laughs> so when we, when we say an AI, what it means is that a uh, system that can learn mm -hmm. from uh, information that's been already shared, yeah. what has been given to it already and what is being given to it now. So if you have a platform that hasn't learned from the current experience, it's not an AI. Gotcha. It can be a program that has been loaded with a lot of data. Uh, it's different from an AI. So ChatGPT is the true form of an AI because no matter what you give it, it picks from the information you give. You can have a, a whole conversation with it, like yeah. a human being. Yes, yes, yes. And it will refer to the same information that you said earlier on. That's why we have chats in that particular app. So ChatGPT is one of the best AIs that exist right now. So let's start with that. First of all, I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but you can have the app on your phone. Yeah. Yes. So you can download the ChatGPT app, and it has access to a particular version, which is free. I think it's 3.5. Yes. And uh, above, you would have to just start paying for it. ChatGPT can be used for so many fields. The truth is, it does not have only one particular direction. Some would say it for blocks, but the truth is, it can be used for medicine, can be used for the content creation. Yeah, it can be used for articles, can be used for if you want to try to write a script for a program. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I've, I've applied it in almost all these kind of fields, and I've tested it out. The truth is, if you are able to understand what it's about. The only thing you have to do is to play around with it. I mean, nobody's going to charge you for using it. Yeah, yeah. the free version. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you download the app, uh, you open it up, and start having a conversation with it. You realize that in the beginning, um, you want to just say, uh, write my note for me, and then <laughs> it doesn't really understand you. Then you get to, get to understand it even more and more, and you can apply it. It can be used for PowerPoint presentation. It can be used for programming. It can be used for taking notes. It, it has a whole lot of anything that you can ask it like a human being you can now they've added photos to it yeah so if you're fixing up uh, you say an example that they gave us you're fixing a bicycle and you have the parts and you don't know what to do you can share the images and tell it what are the steps i'm supposed to take and they give you the step by step to do that yeah, yeah. so that's it for the chat gpt yeah. yeah so this is for the chat gpt you can send us your message on the whatsapp number zero five five one 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 nine nine seven are there specific ai tools that you use we've just spoken about chat gpt what is your favorite thing about chat gpt that's if you have been using it if you don't know anything about it we can just hear from you on that let us just hear from you on the whatsapp number zero five five one 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 nine nine seven we are having a conversation on how to use AI tools to enhance our office work. So we've spoken about ChatGPT. Can we touch on some of the advantages of it and then some of the disadvantages? I think we've spoken about the fact that there are free version there is a free version for it and then paid version. But when it comes to the advantages uh, and disadvantages, what can we look at for ChatGPT? So the advantages of ChatGPT, I could say one thing that everybody knows. It's very fast. Very fast. Yeah. Very fast. So there was a, a period where I wanted to apply for a lot of jobs. I used to sit down for hours creating one email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to, yeah. But when I started using ChatGPT, immediately I get the, um, I see the link. I just open the email, slap the email there, and just write this for me. Blah 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 blah. This is my CV. Take it. Blah blah blah. Can In we seconds, give like practical example? Okay. So, so you received an email like you said. So let's walk through that. If somebody okay wants okay. to use it. So I uh, get, uh, I see an ad. Mm -hmm. I say I'm looking for a videographer. Mm -hmm. I will just see the ad, take a picture. Sometimes I take a screenshot and copy the text from it, mm -hmm. slap it directly inside AI, the chat GPT. I don't even need to so that's arrange like the, the text. Okay. I don't need to arrange the text. I just copy everything. With if iPhone, it even makes it easier. I can just copy the text directly from the image. Mm -hmm. Whatever is the phone number, whatever. <laughs> just copy everything. <laughs> Paste it there. 
shift enter so that it can go down so i can yes. get space too mm -hmm. then i write my command imagine you are a videographer mm -hmm. and you want to apply for this role okay write an email to the company stating your qualifications as five years blah blah i can add other things my experience yes, yes. blah 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 so and things relating to you good. so that generates that content Perfect. For you, you can even add your name everything <laughs> immediately you press enter you just leave <laughs> in seconds the whole thing is just listed you copy it you paste it you don't even have to edit sometimes yeah but just to make it a bit more human like human -like, you can just yeah. add a bit of touch to it here and there you just place your name email address and just send it. Within seconds, you can apply for more than 20 jobs. Mm. Meanwhile, at first, I used to sit down for hours to think. Thinking. What should I tell them to convince them? <laughs> <laughs> now I can even write more than three emails to one particular person. Yeah. yeah. yeah so that, that's, so that's one of the advantages that we have available. Can we talk about one disadvantage? The disadvantage of um, ChatGPT right now, especially for the free version, is the limits to the information. Yeah. The year. So right now, as we speak, I think it's limited to a particular year. I don't know. 2022. Yeah, 2022, yeah. Mm. So beyond that, any new information that is maybe relevant to what you're doing right now may be affected. So when you ask something that is probably current, you will not get the right information. Yes, and it's not always correct because of um, how we understand how to communicate with it. Mm. Because sometimes you may ask something, but you mean it in a particular direction yeah. if you do not take it you might take the information directly and in the end it might harm you <laughs> so in the beginning when they launched some people started, use it to write their exam sometimes oh right? come on <laughs> <laughs> that's just too much <laughs> they started giving warnings so, so when they tell you something that is a bit dangerous they just write under it that i do not take my blah 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 yeah, directly yes. blah blah yeah so you've seen they that give the disclaimer for it straight exactly. away so that that's the disadvantage of it Got you. Okay, so at least we've spoken extensively on ChatGPT. And just in case you are just joining us, we are talking about AI tools that we can use to enhance our office work. And I have with me some more boating. We've been sharing about some of the tools. We started first with ChatGPT and how you can use it to write your emails or even scripts. You are applying for a job and you are not very sure of exactly how to, you know, convince the people mm -hmm. who would have to hire you. You can just use ChatGPT for this. We have the free version, the paid version. The the free version can just do a lot for you so can we move on to another area so at least we've gotten one example for content creation you even spoke about the fact that we can use it for slides generation of presentations mm -hmm. and all that so can we look at another tool that we may have available yeah so i'm doing it in order of my favorite okay that's <laughs> then, fine let's go to mid journey okay i don't know if you have mid journey it's like um ai generation sorry image generation ai so it does a lot of um, art including re recently more realistic photos so for instance if you need a stock photo about maybe someone a doctor wearing a stethoscope instead of your company now going to hire a photographer blah 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 get a model you can quickly get something for your presentation i mean it's just one presentation yeah you don't and there's no issue with copyright Yes, 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 yes. It has a lot of applications. I don't know if you've heard of, you've seen these videos online. There's this video of um, a lot of YouTube videos that are telling stories yes. of, let's say, someone like someone you've never seen before. Let's say okay. Hitler. You never saw Hitler. You never saw Hitler eat rice. But in the video, video you've seen, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it comes from platforms such as Mid Journey. I mentioned Mid Journey because it's more um, advanced than the rest that you commonly know, the free ones that are. Um, but is this paid? Yes, Mid Journey has its, it at first was free. Like, we're going to repeat this over and over again. All the AIs that come out, because they need human beings to assess it, <laughs> they make it free for a while. Then after a while, then they just break into, oh, come and pay. So you're addicted to it already, then you just start paying. You just start paying. Yes. So um, Mid Journey is paid now. I think it's fully paid. They don't give you a trial anymore, something like that. You you pay for it. If you're able to pay for it and you know what you're doing with it, it's crazy. You can do amazing, amazing things. Amazing things. Your slides, your articles your email whatever you're doing letterheads whatever you want to design it's amazing what they can give you F realistic photos i opened it and i was shocked i'm a photographer myself so when i and say i was shocked was giving you <laughs> yeah i was like what this looks like human beings yeah it's crazy so people use it for a lot of flyers nowadays i don't know if you've seen it mm. so um stock images instead of going through trying to steal stock images from google they just get access to the mid journey so now they push their accounts and then just quickly get their images okay so at least with the mid journey, people can use it, especially if you are into photos and yes. images and things of the sort. That is one of the tools that you can mm -hmm. use. Okay. So can we look at another yeah. mainly 
office work so sometimes something like editing i for one started using grammarly some time back mm -hmm. for editing and then it's something that i really like because it gives you that option once you are the interesting thing is that once you download it it gives you access to almost every part that you type anything yeah, so yeah. if it's word document if it's an email i mean some of the tools that we use slack once you start typing anything it's correcting you yeah. the grammatical errors it can just assist you sometimes you can even rephrase the statements that you mm -hmm. put there so it's one of the tools that can even be used for yes. editing if you have something and Maybe sometimes I've even gone to generate some content from chat GPT yeah, and it's not really yeah. human like yeah, yeah, you can yeah. just use yeah, Grammarly yeah. to just edit it to yeah. just reframe it for you so that you have something that I, I sometimes call the two of them lovers so they work you together you call the two of them lovers yeah lovers <laughs> so when I steal something from <laughs> I call it steal but when I copy something from chat GPT and I paste it in my email I just see underline 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 yes, like, yes. ah Grammarly in the play <laughs> just come to my rescue you know right <laughs> yeah so sometimes it, it changes the narrative so it doesn't look a little bit too robotic mm. yeah. So mm -hmm. I love Grammarly, Grammarly a lot because it's one of the first tools I started using. Okay. Yes. Before I jumped on ChatGPT, I used to um, write a lot of content, captions, and all kinds of stuff. Mm. Yeah. So I used to use the Grammarly almost everywhere. Um, the only limitation you have right now with Grammarly is that you can't use it on Google platforms. I think they have an issue with Google. Google doesn't trust them because they feel like they can copy your files. So when you say Google, how exactly? Because we use Google Workspace and I don't really have an issue using it in my mail. Not in your email per se. Okay. Do you use Google Docs? Google Docs. Directly on the... Okay, uh, I've not used Grammarly there directly. Okay. Yeah. When you okay. try to use it on Google Docs or Google Slides directly, okay. the, it blocks it. Oh, it doesn't okay. function there. Yeah, I don't know. They, they, think they have some it. privacy. They don't trust them. Maybe it's a competition or something. I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. <laughs> because yeah. they, they also have an AI that they would like to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So. Got you. We have a message. We'd like to hear from you if you are just joining us. We are having a conversation on how to use AI tools to supercharge your office work or to enhance your office work. We have a message. Good evening. Thank you for your program. I'm not familiar with... Okay. Said hi. Thank you for this great program. I'm very elated that such a technology is now available to positively affect our local languages. Okay, this was from last week. I embrace it fully and would want to know more about its usage. Please help me get your contact. Thanks. Okay. And then there's a, another message also from the same person, Joseph Ahiabel. He's saying that Ahiable. I believe he's saying that thank you for your program i'm not familiar with the chat gpt i am willing to learn please how do i go about it to enhance my productivity okay okay will you yeah. speak to that so i would say first of all have a chat with it <laughs> but when, have when a chat with chat GPT. access to it <laughs> <laughs> just download the app uh, onto, if you have any mobile device just download the app but on the laptop they can just open ai yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. open ai google chat gpt uh, all you, just, you need uh, is an account yeah yeah just log in you don't need to pay anything if you open any website that says pay run away from that website that is not unless true. you want the premium version don't pay <laughs> <laughs> Get familiar with it. If you are ready to pay, then fine. Yes. So you can just check, as he has yeah, said, yeah, you yeah. can download the app for it. You can search your either App Store or your Google Play Store, mm -hmm. or you can just open your laptop or device and just mm -hmm. open AI Chat GPT. Once you search Chat GPT in Google search, you can find it. You can familiarize yourself with that. There is also another message. I'm interested in studying this AI. I'm a 60-year-old. I live in Afienya. Any school around? Um, nene, tete. Okay. The the AI field is not fully embraced yet. Mm. So we don't have uh, schools and stuff. But there are platforms that uh, educate that. One of my pla one one is my platform. The interesting digital trends. I'm sure you might be a 60-year-old. You, you might still be on TikTok or Instagram. There are a lot of platforms such as the interesting digital trends platform set for me. You see my face? So you where does he search for me? On which of the social media or TikTok, Instagram, anywhere. You search for interesting digital trends. We, we talk about such things such as the AI and other things that will be also useful for you. You when we mention them you can try them out. Yeah. Got you. So yeah learning about artificial intelligence, I think there are free sites that you can learn some of these things from youtube is one of them mm -hmm. 
we also even covered something about online learning platforms. So you can even check some of these things out on our social media handles so or even my joy online. We had an article like that written. So hopefully you can start your journey. It's it's not anything difficult. Once you put your mind to it, mm -hmm. you can you can learn that. Thank you for that input. We also have something from Kwame Dazi, Chat GPT or Poi and uh, and others are great. However, I fear that it will get our young ones not to study to be able to answer certain questions. For instance, if a medical student uses it more for his or her assignments, how are they going to be able to perform well when practicing medicine? <laughs> this is from Kwame Dandy. This was the same question <laughs> that came up when they invented calculators. <laughs> 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 they were like, whoa, we need to use our course so that we can be fast. And they're like, oh, come on. AI doesn't come. This is, it, it relates to taking your jobs away. It doesn't come to take away. Yeah. It comes to accelerate. Actually, makes you smarter in some smarter. of the things. Yes. So as a doctor, if you are using AI, it makes you tackle diseases that are even more difficult than what the AI can answer. Not you. Yeah. So it's not like you are doing away with the things mm -hmm. that you are studying, no. no, but it can rather mm -hmm. enhance some of the things that you are the, doing. These are the kind of people who become lectures and they want you to put everything in your head. <laughs> okay. I have an interesting question here from Fred. He said, how will a mechanic use chat GPT tools in his daily activities? A mechanic. mechanic. What sort of mechanic is it? Oh, you gave an example, even with the bicycle thing that yeah, you yeah, said yeah. earlier. But I have to be careful. I don't know what kind of mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's say, uh, yeah, a car mechanic. The chat GPT, as I said, has been advanced, to, as you mentioned, it, has been advanced to a certain level where you can use imaging. So if you get a car that you have never been seen before, you can send a picture of the car to GPT, ask the questions about the car. The, this light is not coming. What, what could be the problem? It can give you a, a list of what should I do next. It can give you a whole list. What should I test? I tested this. It's not responding. What do I do? It took, that's what I say. It's called chat GPT. Yeah, you keep chatting yes. with it and then... And it's you. crazy what it will give you. Okay, so the word is chat GPT. P for pun. Chat GPT. So someone is asking a question. What is the free version of chat GPT for Android from Dan? What is the free version? Uh, I don't really get a question, but you just go to the Play Store. Yes. It sets search chat g b t or g, g p t. yeah p p for pan he has infected me with this <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's chat it's g p t yeah. yes. so you search for chat g p t you easily find it i think the logo is quite common you can also google it first yes. to see it before you download something fake yeah yeah it's that's so, so true yeah. i have this message from moses he's saying in as much as chat g p t makes work easier is it not limiting our cognitive I can reason in any all. way. Not at all. So the basic things that you are supposed to think about, you will take it away. It's a calculator. At first you sit down and do like uh, three times four times seven. You are not coming to push that all in there. But now you do it fast and then you move on to the next thing. Yeah. Yeah, more things to process. Talk about talk No, about seriously, that. like I was talking about my experience with, uh, what's it even called? Grammarly. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you finish writing the email, you have to now go through and check the errors and you all. Come to do like you're English saying, and comprehension. you know, right? <laughs> so, looking at the time that sometimes you have, it's not like you are limiting yourself from reasoning. You mm -hmm. would still do that. Mm -hmm. But then this one rather enhances the work for you. Yeah. There was a question someone asked about productivity. If you have a short time, you had to apply to how many companies? But with the help of ChatGPT, you just went ahead got your content for mm -hmm. the application and send them through so Very you quick. don't really have to spend mm -hmm. too much time on it we also have another message from Kofi Mensa from Dan so Mine says I use chat GPT every day so much so that when you send me chat GPT generated content I can tell <laughs> <laughs> But a lot of people don't know how to interact with it. I think we're going to have, we are going to talk about this. Yeah. In order to share my trade secrets, I will not share all here, okay? <laughs> but I run text from ChatGPT through several platforms to prevent detection by other tools such as Tenetin. Yeah, this is one of the tools that mm -hmm. we're even going to talk about. Great, great to know that you're already using it. Recently, someone sent me an email and I knew it was AI generated. I copied the mail and gave it to chat gpt to respond to it <laughs> it did and i read through and copied and pasted it into outlook and sent 
all this within seconds. If you are not lazy, you could make a lot of money just exactly. helping people to do their work. That's so true. One tip that I will share is that when you copy content from ChatGPT, the first thing to do is to copy and paste it in Notepad. This will remove the formatting mm. from Notepad, Secret. copy and paste it in Word to enhance your office work there are some three platforms that you should use with content from chat gpt see me in chambers hey where are we <laughs> going to see you Coffee Coffee Mesa from Mesa. That so much. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing with us i think there was one message that came in from joseph asking about the two that we spoke about last week the name is kaya k-h-a-y-a k-h-a-y-a so you can check that out it's able to translate english into our local languages there are a number of local languages that can be translated can be translated using that okay thank you so much for keeping us engaged with your questions i think we have one last one before we get back into the studio with our guests saying please good evening my name is your boy i do type in a lot which is very tiring sometimes can ai help in typing and how do i go about it i think we need some more context to this yes yes what what exactly is the typing yeah if so you can give us some more context uh you can um, whatever you're using you can try uh, write sonic i think that's what i call it it has a lot of writing things so if whatever writing thing you're doing <laughs> It can help you. <laughs> can use for articles and a whole lot. Yeah. Can you just go over that again? Right. So, right, Sonic. Yeah. Right, Sonic. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Samuel, your boy, for sharing that. So we've spoken about ChatGPT, mm -hmm. and thank you so much for also giving us your messages and for letting us hear from you. We have spoken about ChatGPT. We have also spoken a bit about Grammarly. So can we look at some other tools that we have before we get back to? Okay. The so let's talk about Tom. I don't know how to say it. Tom. Is it yeah, Tomi yeah, or Tomi? So to me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sure. Tom. But T O M E. Yeah. yeah. Tom, when he came out fresh, was one of the I was one of the earliest people to jump on it because I hate going through slides one by one, creating information. But it's a long process, so it will be good for anyone who is out there who wants to present, especially those in the universities. A lecturer asks you to present on something just because you want to use that time to relax in class and then deduct you marks and all that. Just quickly go to Tom, put in a topic and just press to send and then it, it will generate you. all the slides for you. You can easily edit it too. That's one amazing thing about it. When you are done, you can add your own professional skills to it as a student or as a worker when you are done. Uh, it's quite simple because you don't have to add a lot. So immediately you put in the topic. It just does everything. He has its brothers. The other one is um, Slides AI. Yeah. Beautiful AI is yes. too. So the Tom is T O M E. Yeah. Slides AI is S L I D E S A I. And I think there's one other. Let me check the name. Um, they are all beautiful applications. Or presentations. Or AI. Yes. Amazing things that they can do for you. So we have Slides AI and. Um, Slide Go as well. Yeah. Slides Go. Yeah. Yeah. So you can check out Slides Go. Uh, it has a lot, a lot it can do for you. And most of them are free, actually. Yeah. yeah. So you can have access to like, uh, the, I think maximum 10 slides for each one of them. I think that was the limit. Yeah, we're talking about sometimes talk about the advantages and disadvantages. That yes. was a limiti limiting thing for me when yes. I, used, I used it. The yes. fact that it limits you to just 10 slides. So let me give you a tip. So instead of you writing the main topic, divide your topic into two. <laughs> <laughs> divide it to two. We are talking about fruits and vegetables. Don't write fruits and vegetables. Write fruits. So write give your presentations of fruits. <laughs> you get two. You get ten. <laughs> uh -huh. a you merge them together. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> so that's the trick. The, okay. So, uh, so this is where we use our cognitive. Yes, that's what I said. I was coming to say. Yeah. <laughs> so your brain is not dead. <laughs> it's about you being able to go faster. Yeah. So you can do it that way. And I would recommend that you try the um, Slice AI and the Tom. I mean, review right now as you speak. It's very easy. Just type in it. Any topic that comes to mind. And I've used this for even church service before. Mm. Yeah. I was asked to preach on a sermon. I quickly went to Tom, slapped my topic in there. Just yes. generated the slides for All I had to do was look for memory verse and add. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> but that one said, Church GP2 could have helped you. <laughs> you don't want to say it. I don't, I don't, I don't say it, but I just remember some country. I just. <laughs> 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 I've done it more than once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, but I mean, I think those are some of the advantages of these tools that we have now. Exactly. And that is why technology is advancing. Exactly. People don't have to shy away from it and rather stop their usage. Yes. It's not... I mean, you'll not be any smarter if you're there and you say the tools are there, but you won't use it. Mm-mm. I think it was a conversation we even had quite recently at home. The fact that people would say people are no more carrying their Bibles to church, but they are using their phones. And the thing is that, yes, it would be good to carry your Bible to church, but then on your phone, sometimes you can even make notes. The things that you probably write in the hard copy book. Not even just your Bible, but a hard copy book. How easy will it be for you to find it? Mm-hmm. On your phone, you can quickly just search it and find what you're looking for. So it's the same way with some of these tools that are now available. Yeah. Um, you are better off making good use of them than rather just saying, no, you you want to be, yeah. you know, using your brain or something. I'm sure we, in 1957, when they started bringing cars to Ghana, <laughs> some, people said, some people were saying that, hey, why is that people have stopped walking to church? It's not... <laughs> <laughs> you all be walking to yourself driving. It's not healthy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> everything's advanced. You must catch up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't yeah. kill if you're able to learn how to use the tool. Well. It's true. Mm-hmm. So you've spoken about some of the presentation tools. Yeah. Okay. There's another message. Yes. This is okay. This is from someone. He's given us some more details to his question, talking about typing a lot. Especially, I type exam questions. I want to know which app I can use. Awesome, awesome. Some questions. Uh, it was, it's, it's, okay, so there's this app called, sorry, not app, AI called um, Conquer, C-O-N-K-E-R, by Moot, M-O-T-E. They just launched the platform, and it was, uh, it's amazing. I mean, you go to the platform and just copy your, your you say, should I call it a lecture, or whatever you, they used to teach, pamphlet, curriculum, okay. whatever. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. The information that you have, you just paste it in there. And it can generate multiple questions. Questions. It will make. It can even do it a doc Google Docs form to share, mm. so uh, your students can uh, work at it, work on it. Okay. Uh, so it can, can do multiple questions. It can do um, a sec- like. It's not one way. It has a lot of complex ways of asking questions, and we help you with the grade and the answers by itself. Yeah. So but you can you just touch on it again? Okay. So. The the tool is called Conquer C O N K E R, by Moot. Uh, yeah, Moot is a platform also. It's a bit like an AI. Um, they they invented or created the Conquer app. So you can check it out. C-O-N-K-E-R. Look for it online and try it out. You take your... There's, there's already some samples there like... Um, what's the name? Photosynthesis and all that kind of stuff. You can just go there and try it out with your students to see if they can work along with it. You can print it out if you want. And then you let your students just answer them all right someone i hope you are okay with that this is geek squad where your girl adobia breach and we've been having a conversation on using ai tools to enhance our office work and so far i have had with me some more button we have discussed with you some of the tools that you can use we've spoken about chat gpt we've spoken about tom or to me how, anyhow you want to <laughs> pronounce that (laughs) t-o-m-e these are some tools that we can use to generate powerpoints spoken about chat gpt for generation of content spoke about mid journey also for images slide go and then slides ai so far we are talking about some advantages and disadvantages but what is evident and clear is that it is good to embrace these tools so that it enhances your work Mm -hmm. Now, did you know that MTN Momo now has an app? Yes, MTN Momo has a brand new app specially designed to make your Momo experience easier, convenient, and faster. Just download the Momo app on Play Store or App Store on your smartphone and look out for the blue and yellow icon. It's that simple. Momo app allows you to view your statements, pay bills, and so much more. Use the app for your Momo transactions and enjoy a 100% bonus when you recharge using the Momo app. So go on, download the Momo app now and start transacting with a flex at no data cost. Just Momo it everywhere you go geek squad is brought to you by mtn mtn everywhere you go we will be right back after this imagine 
strutting into the most anticipated wedding of the year. Ah, only to see seven other girls wearing your exact same outfit. Ah! You are special and one of a kind. And that's why whether it's voice, data or SMS, you get to enjoy personalized offers tailored to your specific needs with MTN Just For You. Dial star 141 hash or select your options on the My MTN app to redeem your unique Just For You package on Ghana's best mobile network. MTN. Like a small boat on the ocean Sending big waves into motion Like how a single word can make a heart open I might only have one match But I can make an explosion And all those things I did Welcome back. This is Geese Card with your girl Adobia Breachum. Tonight we've been having a conversation on how you can use AI tools to enhance your office work. Thank you for sticking with us. If you're just joining us, I'm having a conversation with Samuel Boating and... So far, we have spoken about some AI tools that can be used. ChatGPT is one of the tools that we spoke about for content creation. can be used to write scripts, to create presentations. We've also spoken about Tom. That is T-O-M-E. That also can be used for the generation of PowerPoints. We spoke about SlideGo and then Slides AI. And we spoke about Mid Journey. I think there's someone who has just sent us a message on that. So we are going to read that whilst we get into the remaining parts. The way the conversation is going, it looks like we may have to do a part two of this. Yeah. yeah. This is from Ama. He says, Hi, good evening. Kindly spell the AI for the images. The AI is for it's the called images. Mid Journey. M I D and then Jenny. J O U R N E Y. I almost forgot how to spell Jenny. <laughs> 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 so it's together, Mid Journey. And if you if you want to explore other platforms like Doll E, that's D A L L think hyphen E. Yeah. Some are cheap, like the Doll E is I think it's free or so. Yeah. So if you try the mid journey and it's too expensive for you, just go back to Doll E. Okay. So um, uh, I hope that answers your question. So can we look at another two okay. that some people can use? We'll also like to hear from you if there are tools that you are using for your office work or even you have a question you can just send it through to the whatsapp number 055 1111 055 okay so let's jump to so you're talking about office works yes let's jump to meetings yes 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 the secretaries who are tired of writing <laughs> this goes out to you <laughs> <laughs> we have an ai called otter ai o-t-t-e-r we have one called this one I have to look at the name tl semicolon dv yeah i've experienced the tl semicolon dv for a while now and it's amazing they both of them do almost the same thing but um it's like jumping on a zoom call or a google meet call and having another person on the call listening in to make the notes for you so imagine your boss hires you as a secretary to yeah. be jumping on calls here and there and you're always tired you just have to sit back relax get your cucumber in your eyes and just let the ai join <laughs> I the like meeting. that part <laughs> And let's sip your cook or whatever you're drinking. At the end of the meeting, you have a whole actionable point, a whole lot of lists and all that that you need to do. Something that you yourself couldn't even do well, it will do it well for you. Then after, you can even copy it and send us an email or download as a PDF. Better still, you can even add all the members on the meeting on a particular uh, platform. And, and they receive. When they are done, yes, there's an email sent to everyone summarizing everything. So we'd just like to touch on the name of the tool again so that for someone There's listening they can just search it. A I O T T E R A I A I Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we have um T L semicolon, that's this. D V. T L D V. Okay. Yes. So this is mainly something like voice to text like after the meeting has been had exactly. all you have to do is to just go ahead it yes. can do the summary for you you can yes. share it out with the people yes. who join that call it makes your work easier so this one 
I mean, you don't want to spend too much time because back then people would sit down, they'll be listening to their recording, trying to transcribe. But I mean, who does that now? If you have a way of getting all this transcribed mm-hmm. for you, why not make use of it? Yeah. You're better off making use of it. Okay. What's another one that we can look at again? Next week, I think we'd like to touch on the prompts so that people can look at how they can even ask and get the specific results that they want. Okay. But yeah, we just want to touch on one other to talk about an advantage and disadvantage and then we can look at prep enough for today. Let's look at another tool in the multimedia field known as Adobe Firefly. Mm. Yes, it's another crazy app. You've heard of um, people taking away pimples from people's face when they edit. Yeah. Have you heard of people expanding rooms to the extent that if you can, you can shoot a picture on a boat and it will look as if you shot it in the middle of the sea. You can stand and sit, okay, let's just say a chair in your room and make yourself look like you are sitting in a museum. It's quite simple. All you have to do is to get the image you have, crop it and put it in Adobe Firefly. Ask to it to, gen- oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> to surprise you what you can get. So there are a lot of music videos being used nowadays, uh, being utilized in this particular platform. I don't know if you've, you've seen it. So they shoot someone in a small studio, like budget shoot, and then they put it in this particular platform and then expand the environment. And the person looks as if he's in abroad and all that kind of stuff. You don't need to learn how to do any 3D. <laughs> Just change the environment. Let your star stand in the and middle. And AI can help you do I, that. The power of seconds, AI. In seconds. Just in seconds. Hold you on. can do that. There's... The name is Adobe Firefly, A-D-O-B-E, Firefly, F-I-R-E-F-L-Y. Okay, I think there's someone asking whether the person is a secretary or joins a lot of lots of meetings. Please repeat the voice to text AI tool again. That's okay. the author. You can just yes. so the spell it out again. Author, O-T-T-E-R, like the animal, dot A-I, O-T-T-E-R. Another one is T L semicolon dv yes so yeah. it, it basically joins the meeting as if it's another person yeah and then records everything then you Perfectly. can have your summary and even zoom has done something right now yes where you can have the is it ai companion also yes. so zoom you can just activate that yes. when you're on a zoom call and then it also summarizes everything out for you and then you can share that yeah. out with the people who joined the meeting so for those asking about the name of the ai tool or the app that can be used for learning the Ghanaian languages the name is kaya so you can search on play store or on your app store or even just web browser you can just search the name is kaya k-h-a-y-a kaya kaya app k-h-a-y-a kaya app you can just search and then you can start your journey it translates a number of translates into a number of Ghanaian languages it's not only three there's three and a number of them so what all you have to do is just to type the english word or sentence then it translates it for you translate it for you okay there's also another question this is from yvonne she's asking is there an ai field for the marketing field is that an ai yes to for the marketing field depends on um how you utilize what we mentioned you can use all of them for marketing depends on how you utilize a particular platform as i said you can use i mentioned write sonic write sonic can help you write sonic can help you to create captions can help you to write articles blogs um, emails and so on and so forth you can use it for a whole lot to surprise you what you can do just check it out write sonic and the chat GPT itself can be used for marketing. Uh, we, I had a team, let me give a typical example, typical, typical example. We set up a team and we needed to launch, uh, we needed to create something like a content calendar for digital marketing. The content calendar was a bit of a challenge because the field that we jumped in was fresh and it was something not, something that you, you couldn't easily Google and get information on. So we went on chat GPT and I spoke to ChatGPT like a friend. I said, hello, buddy. Hello, and, buddy. I know I someone who does help. that. <laughs> I need your help. Um, <laughs> can you help us to generate? And it generated more like several months content that I can use and post without actually suffering to think about. Like, hold on. What I had to do now is maybe go to Tomb or go to Midjourney to get images and other platforms to put the ideas together in this shoot. Okay. So, yeah, we've had a number of 
tools that we have spoken about, some of the things. I think sometimes just a Google search can just assist you with some of the questions. This conversation definitely will have to continue next week. Just, yeah, definitely will have to continue next week. So... One of the things that we have been talking about this year is for us to learn something new related to tech. Something new related to tech. So if anything at all, all you can do is just to just search on Google and then you can know what we're talking about. Before we wrap up for tonight's show, we would just like to take a listen to the quick tech fixes. We will be right back after that. Hello there. My name is Michelle Ajakun, and I bring you some tech quick fixes and tips here on Geek Squad. Reporting spam messages is more than just an annoying chore. But by reporting spam, you will let Google and other platforms about harmful or unwanted content. Now let's check out some steps to take when reporting spam messages. 1. Open the Google Messages app. 2. Find the spam conversation you want to report. 3. Touch and hold the conversation in the list. 4. Tap on Block and Report Spam. 5. Confirm your choice by tapping OK. And that's it. By doing this, you not only block the sender, but also report the conversation as spam to Google. Welcome back. This is Geek Squad with your girl, Adubia Breachum. This evening, we've been having a conversation on how you can use some AI tools to enhance your office work. And I've had with me in the studio some more boating. We have shared with you some tools that are available. We've spoken about ChatGPT for content creation. We've spoken about some tools for presentation and slides generation. We have also spoken about some tools like Grammarly, where you can use that to edit the content that you have. Thank you for sticking with us and also for sharing with us your questions and then your messages. We have one message from AC and she's asking, can we have other free versions for the AI tool for image editing? I think we can just touch on this yes. and then we'll get ready to wrap up. Okay, so we have, you can also try Canva. Canva yes, has, yes, yes, now yes. has AI gener image generation. We have a free pick, free pick, F. R E E P I K, free pick. Don't you will see something else. F R E E P I K. I had a friend who pinned that link one time. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> Remember the spelling F R E E P I K. They are very free right now. The, the generation is in credits. Every day you are giving free amounts. Yeah, and then Canva. Yeah, Canva. C M V A. Yes. All right. So any last words, by all means, this, this will have to continue again next week. We'll have to continue again next week. And then, as we mentioned, the use of prompts, the use of prompts. So the use of prompts is basically what you put in the tool. Like if you're going to have a conversation with chat GPT, you're saying, you say, hey, buddy, mm -hmm. and then you type in whatever you want <laughs> to type in. Yeah, depending on what you put in, I think you even made that statement that mm -hmm. sometimes you type in something, what your intentions are is not necessarily the what results you that you end up getting. We'll touch on that again next week so that people know exactly what to put in and then what they get back. You just in 30 seconds any final words at least for somebody who will listen to us today what they can take from our conversation before we continue next week first let me advertise myself <laughs> as i said you can find me on any social media platform interesting digital trends interesting digital trends um the final thing i'd like to say is ai is not scary ai is already around you no matter what you do it's already there the only thing you have to do is to learn how to use it if you sit back it will kill you I can tell you that. <laughs> this killing, yeah. <laughs> it will kill you, yeah. So it's like, uh, there's a book called uh, Who Took My Cheese. Yeah. I think you should read on it. You, it I've will give you it. more understanding of what yeah. innovation is and how you should catch up with is it. coming, yeah. 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 Thank you so much, Samuel Barton, for joining us this evening. This has been your girl, Adobia Breachum. God willing, next week, we'll continue again with this topic, how you can use AI tools to enhance your office work. Up next is Champion Leagues.